All right, so if you're looking to buy a smartphone around the 20,000 Indian rupees price point and you have your eyes set on the recently launched Redmi Note 11 Pro or the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus 5G, then I believe you should definitely spare five minutes of this video because I'll show you guys how you can save money if you buy this particular smartphone that has almost the same performance yet a better camera system while costing less than either of the two devices you definitely need to watch this video. But before we start, let's first have a look at what Rupesh from bbomb.com has to say with regards to this year's smartphones. Newer phones are not just about upgrades, they are downgrades plus a price bump. Yep, this is exactly what I feel as well. Are companies trying to cut corners due to the worldwide semiconductor shortage? Who knows? But that is for another day. Let's get back to our main video topic as to why I feel that the Redmi Note 11 Pro series are not worth either your money or your attention. So let's first take a look at what the Redmi Note 11 Pro has to offer. The design is awesome, indeed. The flat edges definitely make your phone look premium and the phone looks beautiful for the most part. And also the inclusion of the 67 watt fast charger is another awesome thing. But that is where the good stuff ends. Don't believe me? Okay, let's talk about the performance for the time being. The Redmi Note 11 Pro comes with the MediaTek Helio G96 processor, which with all due respect is definitely not something to ignore in terms of performance, but it's definitely a downgrade compared to Snapdragon 732G that the Redmi Note 10 Pro from last year had. And in spite of the downgraded specs, the introductory pricing of the Redmi Note 11 Pro is 17999, which means that Xiaomi will increase the prices eventually, which is not that rare considering last year's prices. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's assume that you are okay with all this, but what about the optics? I'm pretty sure that cameras are prime priorities of people who purchase these smartphones at this price point. And here again, Xiaomi went for a major downgrade. Let me explain. So first up, the 5 megapixel macro camera has been downgraded to a 2 megapixel one, which won't produce good results at all. And the main 108 megapixel sensor is while good in taking photos, but the thing that is a big, big bummer for those of you who record videos with your smartphones there is no 4K video recording even for the rear main camera sensor. I mean, this is 2022 and a phone costing 20,000 Indian rupees has no 4K video recording. That is a hard thing to digest. And there's also no 60 frames per second recording in 1080p. So that is another big bummer. And please, for the sake of God, if you think that 108 megapixels, I mean, higher megapixels is everything, it is not. I don't know what Xiaomi was thinking when they designed these smartphones, but this is definitely not the way forward. Okay, so now let's talk about the bigger brother, the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus 5G. Quite a mouthful. So apart from the updated design and the inclusion of the fast charger, oh, and definitely the inclusion of the 5G bands. Very important stuff, guys. How can I forget? Oh, man. So apart from the updated design and the inclusion of 5G, this smartphone also gets the Snapdragon 695 processor, which on paper is a definite upgrade to the Snapdragon 732G from last year. But in reality, this is a processor that also throttles a lot. And this is also explained by Bebom in his video. Just have a look at this. Phone starts to go red quite easily in the CPU throttling test app. And that won the default 20 threads 15 minutes test. As you can see, the phone throttled to 68%. And we also checked the heating and it was around 37, 38 degrees, which is fine. So the throttling is kind of strange. It's kind of strange. Another small but noticeable downgrade is the inclusion of the hybrid SIM slot compared to a separate slot for the micro SD. Like, how much did Xiaomi think they could save in this aspect? So me personally, I feel that if you want to save some money and consider a better smartphone, you guys should definitely consider the last year's king in this price point. So this is the Redmi Note 10 Pro, a phone that literally shook the smartphone market in 2021 because it was considered as the most value for money smartphone at that point of time. And even in 2022, if you're looking for a smartphone at this price point, this is definitely the phone to go for. Be it new, be it refurbished, secondhand, I don't care. Just get this phone. So what's so special about this smartphone that is already a year old that made me skip the latest generation of the Redmi Note series? Well, to start with, it has got almost the same performance thanks to the Snapdragon 732G. It has much better optics which includes a beautiful 5 megapixel macro sensor compared to this year's <clears throat> 2 megapixel sensor. And the best part is that it doesn't skip out on 4K video recording, which I'm pretty sure many people who are in the YouTube space use a lot for recording their videos. And it also has a beautiful display panel that is 120Hz at 1080p, so that is also a good point. Oh, and do you want to know the best part? Well, if you're like me and you like to play around with custom ROMs, there is actually good news for you. The Redmi Note 10 Pro is quite popular in the custom ROM segment and there's a lot of ROMs that are available for it. So definitely, if you take my suggestion, I would say buy the smartphone, get rid of the hideous MIUI and load up some beautiful stock ROMs to it and you'll get the most out of your devices. Okay, so now that I have the Redmi Note 10 Pro with me, that means only one thing, right? 
So I will be unlocking this phone's bootloader. I will be installing custom ROMs on this phone and playing a lot with this phone. So if any of these topics interests you, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of these videos. So those were my thoughts on the recently launched Redmi Note 11 Pro series. And honestly, I felt kind of disappointed. So what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me? Definitely feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you guys are willing to purchase any of the phones I mentioned in this video, there will be Amazon affiliate links in the video description along with the pinned comment. So if you want to purchase a phone, please use my affiliate links as that will help the channel at zero extra cost to you. But that was pretty much it for this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Feel free to drop a like if you enjoyed this video and definitely subscribe to the channel if you're new here. So this is me, Rohit, signing off. I'll see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching.